Radia Hudgen here with Exquisite Travel Deals, and I'm here to share with you, yes, another travel tip. Well, this particular tip is in regards to nonstop flights and layovers. Well, all I've got to say about nonstop flights is that of all the flights, this is what I personally prefer because there's no need to worry about missing a connecting flight or whether or not your luggage will actually be transferred to your connecting flight. Another thing, you don't have to worry or be worried about is if your flight is delayed and or canceled. And most importantly, it allows me the time to spend more with my loved ones, especially if I'm visiting with family and or friends or doing the activities that were previously planned instead of spending all of the time in the airport. As it relates to layovers and to ensure that you don't miss your flight, especially if you're traveling with young and or elderly people, you wanna consider the longer layovers. And here's why. As you know, some of our young, as well as our elderly people may frequently be in need of using the restroom. Or it may also be that they move slow. Another thing, if in the event of having a large family or a group, there's the daunting task of keeping everyone together. And so, as for those of you who are Muslim, you may also want to factor in your salat or prayers, especially if you're a stickler for praying them on time and not having to make up a bunch of your prayers. So you too may want to consider a longer layover. Side note, for those of you who didn't know, many of the airports have designated areas for us to pray. Alhamdulillah, praise God. Also, in having longer layovers, you may want to consider something that is called sleeping pods. Some of you may be unfamiliar with them, so I will share a little bit of information about them here. Some of them are like miniature hotel rooms inside of the airport. It's very secure, and they are designed so that you can take a nap. And they vary in how much time as well as money that you can spend in them and on them. And it varies in cost. Much of them offer the first 20 minutes for free. That's right, free. But after that, the prices may range anywhere from 10 to $15 or more per hour. So in the description, I have provided some of the links where you can find them both domestically as well as internationally. And lastly, as it relates to another reason why you may want to consider longer layovers is so that you can go sightseeing, see the town, see the area where you are, right? Go on some excursions. Or for those of you who love to shop, Check out some of the malls or the souks, right? And so that's it for today's tip. And we thank you. And if you found anything that I've shared with you to be helpful, be sure to like as well as share this video with someone else. And if you haven't already, be sure to just, uh, subscribe <laughs> if I could talk turning on the notifications so that you can be the first to know when we share our new content, inshallah. And if you're anything like me and you want to save money on your travels or position yourself to help others who also may want to save on their travels, be sure to click that information in the comments below as well so that I can help you Get set up to become what we call an independent travel agent, inshallah. And if by now you're saying to yourself, forget that, I want you to book my trip. I have that information below as well. Again, 
Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.